everybody, and welcome to the five strategies to up-level game. Yeah, I'm very excited that you're here. So let's get started with principle number one. I call it the Grubhub principle. Now, this is based around the theory of what do you want and, and how do you succeed in business is actually knowing what you want. But most entrepreneurs do something like this. Hey, Grubhub, yes, ma'am, what do you want? Um, I want some food, I'm hungry. Yeah, that's why you called us, what do you want? Oh, I don't know, what do you want? Uh, okay, I, I want a hamburger. Oh, no, no, wait, I don't want a hamburger. I had a hamburger yesterday. Um, oh, I'll have Chinese food, right? Oh, no, no, I, Chinese is kind of, ma'am, would you please call us back and you know what you want? Ma'am, they hang up on you. And you're like, wait a second, I thought I, I was hungry. What happened here? I didn't get anything. You didn't actually say what you wanted. Or, hey, Grandpa, yes, ma'am, what do you want? Uh, I would like a Caesar salad, extra chicken croutons on the side. Bam, you know what shows up at your door 15 minutes later? A Caesar salad, extra chicken croutons on the side. How do they know? Because you told them what you wanted. And in fact, if a tuna salad shows up, you very clearly know that's not what you wanted because you stated what you wanted. Now, if entrepreneurs actually did this, they get a lot further along in life. In fact, it's the principle works for everybody at all times. So this came about for me. I was in Los Angeles and I was working as an actress and my ex-father-in-law uh, had said, I can set you up with the top guy at Universal. There I am taking this giant meeting. Now, I knew what I wanted. I wanted to be an actress. I wanted to get a, you know, an Oscar and an Emmy. I wanted to do sitcoms, I want to do movies, I want to work with uh, on, the, on the set of Steven Spielberg and Julie Roberts. I knew exactly what I wanted until he asked me. It's kind of interesting. Because I'm sitting in this big office and I'm a little intimidated. And he says, so, what do you want? And I think I said something like, oh my gosh, like I want so much. Like I just can't wait to be an actor. So I've, I've been studying my whole life and I'm and I moved to New York. And at least that's what it sounded like in my head. So Tom Pollock, senior vice president, pushed a dime across the desk, which Showed you how long ago that was, because that was for a payphone. And he said to me, Don't call me when you figure it out. And it took me a long time. One of the most embarrassing moments of my life was when I had a call and say how I flew that audition. And of course, Tom had also called and said, Don't ever come back to that. And it was all because I couldn't articulate at the moment what I wanted. And I'll tell you what, I became obsessed with this concept because it hurt my heart so much. I knew what I wanted. I was right there and I couldn't articulate anything. Well, so for the past 25 years or so, I've been asking this question of people, what do you want? And very often I will get answers like, well, I want financial freedom. Oh, wait, I, I got you covered there. Financial freedom, that's easy. Yeah, go get a cardboard box and live under a bridge. Oh, well, that's total financial freedom. That's what you said you wanted, right? No phone bill, no electric bill, no water bill. Oh, wait, that's not what you wanted. What did you want? Oh, oh, you wanted more money. Okay, here's a dollar. That's not what you wanted, but you just said you wanted more money. You now have a dollar more than you had before. Oh, you want passive income. I can go down the list. Because if you don't articulate what you actually want, number one, you don't even know when you get it. And number two, you don't actually get it. And so through the years I've created, uh, and I think a lot of us have vision boards and what do you want statements, and I play the game. And I'm going to highly suggest that you read the chapter in the book and you actually do the exercise. And I believe in here, you have to write down what do you want. And my hope is that you write it down 10 times, and then 10 more times, and then 10 more times, so that you can flush out all the things that you think you want. I'll give you that. Usually it starts out with, I want to travel, which I would say, where and when. Oh, I, I want to go to Greece. Oh, I want to go to Greece next summer. Okay, you see how we're getting closer? I want to stay in a villa on the beach in Greece, the island of Santorini, and I want to take so-and-so with me. It takes the same amount of breath to dream that as it does to say I just want to try. The only difference is that when I get home from Greece, I check it off my bucket list, I know that I've been there and done that. And that goes with everything, in terms of how much money you want to make, in terms of the partners you want to have around you, in terms of the life mate you want to have. What do you want? So many times when I do relationship, what do you want? People say, oh, I just want someone to be funny. Yeah, funny comes in all sizes, shapes, and ages, and that's not all you wanted. And there's a lot of tips and tricks to identifying what you want. Uh, my suggestion, truly, really, is to play the game with someone else and have them ask you the same question over and over and over again, what do you want? Um, when, and I've played this game hundreds of times. One of the things that years ago, when I got to the bottom, now here's a little hint. When you start to ask yourself, what do you want? It's nice if you're in a nice, quiet place. And then you start to dream about it. You say, I would love to go to the mountains. I've seen those huts out into the water with the blue crystal water and the swimming pool that goes underwater, the bedroom you out, see the fish. 
you have a sense that I know exactly when I get there what it will look like? Yeah, that's how you, you get your dream. When I was uh, in my 20s and I wanted to go to Europe, I didn't have a lot of money. That's the first thing. I wanted to go to Europe without having spent a lot of money. I've talked to people who say to me, oh, I'll travel there when I get millions of dollars. Why wait? Don't travel. So I, I got Europe on $20 a day by Arthur Cuomo, and I drew a map, and I showed it to my mom, and I said, I'm going to go see all of these places. And she looked at me like, mm -hmm. guess what? I saw all of those places. That's what's called plan the attack and attack the plan. And finally, in terms of Grubhub, I firmly believe that if entrepreneurs were architects, we would all be living in tents. Because entrepreneurs don't seem, while we're dreamers, we don't seem to want to put it on paper and make it real. When an architect says they're going to build a big skyscraper, it starts with a pencil and a piece of paper and all the little details that make it so. And they're so detailed that they then give it to an engineer to make sure that it works, a structural engineer. If you're an entrepreneur, take your business plan and give it to a person who does business plans for a living and make sure all the numbers add up. Make sure you're doing a business that can actually generate money, something that you're going to love five years from now. And then they give those plans to a construction, construction team and they build it. The architect then walks back a year or two later and says, well, that's exactly what I thought about. So don't go after every new shiny object. Really kind of nail down what is it that you want. Are you someone who wants to focus on health and wellness? You want to focus on a coaching career, a speaking career? You want to work for somebody? You know, all of those things are very doable. But I really urge you to take this lesson very seriously and ask yourself, hmm, what do you want? All right. See you at lessons.